Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss bitwise operators in Python. This video becomes lengthy because I want to cover each and every point of the bitwise operators. So don't skip the video. Try to understand each and every point. Let us start. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. What is compound condition? Boolean operators logical operators and its types written value of all logical operators example programs for logical operators all these were covered in lecture 14 if you haven't watched that please watch that for the better understanding of the operators concept in python after watching this video you will be able to know what is decimal number system and what is binary number system Types of the bitwise operators. What type of the values can we use with bitwise operators in Python? What are the principles for the bitwise AND, OR, and exclusive OR operators? Formulas to calculate bitwise left shift operator and bitwise right shift operator. We started operators concept in our videos. In lecture 12, we covered arithmetic operators in Python. In lecture 13, we covered relational operators and assignment operators. In lecture 14, we discussed about logical operators. In this session, we are going to discuss bitwise operators and remaining special operators will be discussed in the next video. Bitwise operators are used to perform bit level operations. Bit level operations are also called low level operations. Bitwise operators are used to work with individual bits 0 and 1 of the given value. As these are works at bit level, these are called bitwise operators. Bitwise operators can work with binary values directly and these bitwise operators also used to work with the integer values. When we use these operators on integers, integers are converted into the binary format internally and then bitwise operators work on these bits. The result is generated in the binary format. Again that binary format value will be converted into the decimal value. That decimal value will be displayed as a result. See this, when you enter the input in the form of the decimal value, that will be converted into the binary form zeros and ones internally because machine can understand zeros and ones only. By using the bitwise operators, the system can perform different bitwise operations. After performing the bitwise operations, the result is generated in the binary form. That binary result is converted into the decimal form. After that, that will be displayed in the decimal format as the output of that program. We have six different types of the bitwise operators in Python. Those are bitwise AND operator, bitwise OR, bitwise exclusive OR. We use AND symbol or ampersand symbol to represent bitwise AND. We use pipe symbol for the bitwise OR operator and caret symbol for the bitwise exclusive OR. Next to three operators are bitwise complement, bitwise left shift, bitwise right shift. Coming to the symbols we used for these three are we use tilde symbol for the bitwise complement operator. Bitwise complement operator is also called bitwise not operator. We use two less than symbols to indicate bitwise left shift operator and two greater than symbols for the bitwise right shift operator. All these bitwise operators are binary operators except bitwise complement operator. 
binary operators means that requires two operands that work on two values or two variables where bitwise not operator is a unary operator it takes only one operand to work for the better understanding of bitwise operators we must know decimal number system and binary number system the number system we use in our daily life is a decimal number system what are the numbers we use in our daily life those numbers are part of the decimal number system in the decimal number system total we have 10 different digits hence the base of this is 10 the different digits in the decimal number system we use are 0 to 9 that is 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 as we are using 10 different digits we can say the base of the decimal number system is 10 all the values can be represented using 0 to 9 only whatever the values you want to represent using the decimal number system we must use the digits from this set only 0 to 9 only 100 or 256 300 500 whatever it might be those are framed by using these 10 digits only see the example suppose i want to write 239 that should be represented like this 239 we write 10 at the bottom of this number 239 base is 10 it gives the meaning like 239 is a value in decimal number system when we write the base value is 10 that indicates this value belongs to decimal number system coming to the binary number system this is the number system used by the computers for the internal processing purpose totally this binary number system contains only two different digits that's why the base of this number system is 2 only the different digits we use in the binary number system are 0 and 1 these 0 and 1 are called bits actually bits is the short form for the binary digits all the values can be represented using zeros and one only whatever it might be the number that must be a combination of zeros and ones only see this example suppose i want to represent a number 1001 this is a combination of zeros and ones only this is a binary number for the easy understanding we should write the base base of this binary number system is 2 we need to write 2 like this we should not call it as 1001 because this is a binary number system we must call it like 1001 it is possible to convert one number system value to another number system also we can convert decimal number system to binary number system and we can convert binary number system values to decimal number system also then how to convert that let us see the process to convert the decimal values to binary let us try to understand this process with help of the example the example is we are trying to convert a decimal number 12 into the binary number system the procedure we need to follow is first we need to divide the given decimal number successively by the number 2 and we need to write the remainders and finally we need to take those all remainders from the bottom to top direction that will gives the final value in the binary number system see this example how to convert your decimal number system to binary number system write the 12 and divide this decimal number with the 2 2 6 times 12 so write the remainder like this 0 and again 2 3 times 6 remainder is 0 successively we need to divide the number with 2 2 2 1 time 2 remainder is 1 so there is no chance to divide furtherly after that we need to write the remainders from the bottom to top direction so what are the remainders we have 1 1 0 0 0 this is the equivalent number for the 12 in the binary number system let us try to understand this process with help of the example in our example our binary number is 1100 so procedure is multiply the individual bits 
with power of 2. So, this is our input value, this is the value in the binary number system. Now, we are trying to convert this binary value into decimal number system. So, as we discussed, take the last digit from the right hand side that is 0. So, 2 power 0 and multiply with 0 plus and increase the 2 power always by 1, 2 power 1 into this digit 0 plus increase the 2 power again, 2 power 2 multiply with third digit from the right side that is 1 plus 2 power 3 multiply with and fourth digit from the right hand side that is 1. So, now find this value 2 cube into 1, 8 into 1, 8 plus 2 square 4, 4 into 1, 4 plus 0 into something 0 plus 0 into something 0. So, final the value we are getting is 12. The output of bitwise and is 1 if the corresponding bits of 2 operands is 1. If either bit of an operand is 0, the result of corresponding bit is equal to 0. These points are clear with help of this truth table of bitwise and. As we covered one point, all the bitwise operators are binary operators except bitwise not. So, bitwise and is a binary operator. It takes two operands, x is one operand, y is one operand in this example. The digit of first operand is 0 and digit of the second operand is 0. In this case, the x and y value is 0 and 0 1 the value is 0, 1 0 the final value is 0. But this is the important point you need to remember. When the corresponding digits are 1s, then the final value is 1. In the all the remaining cases, the value is 0. This is the bitwise and principle. See the example for the better understanding. So, I have two values. I want to find out 12 bitwise and 25. 12 is an integer number as we discussed just now that should be converted into the binary digit first. Already we covered how to convert a decimal number into binary number. Use that procedure, you will get this answer. 25 is a decimal value. The equivalent value for the 25 in binary number system is this one, the second row value. Then, when we implement bitwise AND operator, we know the principle when two corresponding values are 1, then only the bitwise AND value will be 1. Observe here, 1 AND 1, two digits are 1, then the final value becomes 1. In all the remaining cases, the value becomes 0. If you analyze this, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0 also 0, 1, 0 also 0. You can check all these values. So, finally, you will get the output 8 if you execute this program. Because already we discussed that after generating the value internally in the binary number system, that will be converted into the decimal and that will be displayed as a result of the program. Let us try to implement those. See the first program. As we discussed already, bitwise operators can work with only integer values. But in this program, I am implementing the bitwise AND operator with float value. Let us try to execute this. We are getting error. See the error, unsupported operand type are types for bitwise AND that is float. Here we are using float values, bitwise operator supports only integer values. That point is clear. Now, coming to the bitwise AND operator, here also I am taking those values only for the better understanding and I want to print the bitwise AND value as a result. Execute it. Now, observe the output x and y value is 8. Bitwise or the output of bitwise or is 1 if at least one corresponding bit of two operands is 1. Otherwise, it returns 0. In other terms, we can say that it returns 0 when the bits in both operands are 0. In other cases, it returns 1. See the truth table. When we have two zeros, the final value is 0. In all other remaining cases, the value is 1. See this example. 
with the same numbers 12 bitwise or 25. So, this is the decimal value, this is equivalent value in the binary number system, 25 in the decimal value that will be converted into the binary internally and here we are implementing bitwise or operator. When the corresponding values are zeros, the final value is zero here also and in the all the remaining cases, the bitwise or gives one. Now, observe this. If you execute a program with these values, you will get the value 29. We are implementing bitwise or here with help of the values 12 and 25. Then I want to print the x or y value. Execute it. Now see the output x bitwise or y value is 29. Next one is bitwise exclusive or the result of bitwise exclusive or operator is 1. If the corresponding bits of two operands are opposite, otherwise it is 0. See this truth table. When two operands bits are opposite, then the final value is 1. And in the remaining cases, the value is 0. See this example again 12, 25, and we are implementing bitwise exclusive R. So, whenever we have opposite digits, the final value is 1. In this case also 1 0 1. In all the remaining cases, the bitwise exclusive R returns 0. So, the output of 12 bitwise exclusive R 25 is 21. Bitwise exclusive R same values and execute it. Observe the output x exclusive R y value is 21. Bitwise complement operator or bitwise not operator. Bitwise complement operator is an unary operator. It works on only one operand. It complements the given value that is it changes ones to zeros and zeros to ones. That is the nature of bitwise complement operator. See the truth table as we discussed this is a unary operator. It takes only one operand as the input. If x value is 0 it complements the value that is the result is 1. Input is 1, the result is 0. It changes 1s to 0s, 0s to 1. See this example, my input is 10 and this is the equivalent value in the binary number system. When we implement a bitwise complement or bitwise not, zeros becomes 1s, 1s becomes zeros. we know that. Finally, we are getting the value minus 11 that is the decimal value. So, see the formula whenever we are working with the bitwise not, bitwise complement of a number, let us say x, the result is minus of x plus 1. In this example, our x value is 10, bitwise of 10 is minus of 10 plus 1, minus 11. But here, we have very interesting point coming to the bitwise complement. See, in the previous slide, we get this result as a bitwise complement. But if you convert this binary number value into the decimal, you will get 245, not minus 11. Then how to understand bitwise complement is? To get the actual answer of the bitwise not, we need to find out two's complement of this number. That is the actual mechanism implemented internally when we use bitwise complement. Then how to find out 2's complement? The 2's complement of a number is equal to the complement of that number plus 1. Actually, this 2's complement is used by the system internally to maintain negative numbers. See how to implement that. From the previous slide, I have taken this. Then what is the first step? We need to find out 1's complement. 1's complement is nothing but 1's becomes 0's, 0's becomes 1's. This is 1's complement line. After that, we need to add 1 for this value. So, I am adding 1 here. 0 plus 1, 1 and 1 as it is 1, 0 as it is 0 and so on. So, this is the complete value of 2's complement. This is the 2's complement of this 245. If you convert this binary value into the decimal, we are getting minus 11. This is how bitwise not works internally. Now, here important points you need to remember. 
in the binary number system 0 indicates positive and 1 indicates negative as we are implementing bitwise not that is zeros becomes ones and ones becomes zeros if you observe our input value is 10 that is positive number but the output is a negative number because to indicate the positive numbers internally the system maintains zero zero indicates a positive value but when we implement bitwise not zero becomes one nothing but positive becomes negative this is the reason when we give the input positive value we will get negative value as a result and vice versa see this example bitwise not x value is 10 then i want to print bitwise complement value or bitwise not value execute it the output is minus 11 suppose if you take a negative number you will get a positive value observe the output is 9 next one is left shift operator bitwise left shift operator shifts all the bits towards the left hand side by a certain number of specified bits the bit positions that have been vacated by the left shift operator are filled with zeros when we shift some bits to the left hand side obviously we will get some cells as empty cells those empty cells filled with zeros if you perform left shift operation on any operand with i times then the formula is x left shift operator i where x is the operand i is number of the bits you want to shift the result value we can calculate by using this formula operand value into 2 power number of the bits you shifted with the example these points will be clear see this i have a number 12 i stored in the operand x that will be converted into the bits internally when we implement x left shift 1 what does it mean i want to shift all the digits to the left hand side by 1 so this is the result of x left shift 1 for the better understanding see the step by step procedure we have 0 in the first cell that should be shifted to left hand side by one cell here what is the value in the first cell that value becomes the value of the second cell now what is the value we have in the second cell that value will be stored in the third cell in the result value and in the same way third cell value will be stored in the fourth cell in the result value because every value is shifted to one cell towards the left hand side in the same way every value is shifted to left hand side by one see now here if you want to shift it to the next cell there is no cells are available in the result then in this case that zero value is vacated or deleted and one more important point observe here here we have one empty cell this empty cell is filled with zero how many empty cells we have those empty cells are filled with zero in this example we have only one empty cell because we are moving one cell only to the left hand side this is the formula to implement left shift operator apply for our example 12 left shift operator 1 so as per the formula 12 into 2 power 1 because we are moving all the bits by 1 so 12 into 2 power 1 that is 12 into 2 the final value is 24 i think it's clear let us take the same example for the easy understanding x assignment to 12 and this is the equivalent value for the 12 in the binary number system and x right shift by 1 this is the result value let us see the step by step procedure again first what is the value we have here that will be shifted to the right hand side by 1 and this cell also will be moved to the right hand side by one every cell is moved to the next cell because we are moving all the cells by one to the right hand side again there is no space for this zero in the result value so this value will be vacated now 
here we are getting one empty space and this empty space also filled with zeros like left shift operators so formula we used for the right shift operator is x right shift operator i equal to x division operator 2 power i where x is the operand i is number of the bits you are shifting apply the formula for this example 12 right shift operator 1 where 1 is the number of the bits we are shifting 12 is the operand value so the result value like 12 division operator 2 power 1 12 by 2 that is 6 so let us try to implement left shift and right shift operator x value is 12 and x left shift by 1 now see we are getting 24 as we discussed just now and coming to the right shift operator 12 right shift 1 the value is 6 we have seen our slide also same result check your knowledge what have you learned from this video what is a decimal number system what is binary number system how to convert one number system to another number system what are the different types of the bitwise operators provided by python what type of the values can we use with bitwise operators in python what are the principles to implement bitwise and or and exclusive or what are the formulas we use to calculate the values by implementing bitwise left shift operator and bitwise right shift operator if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel watch and share it thank you